was, this was an accumulation of half my life waiting for this. I've been playing for this tag for half of my life. <sighs> so my whole hunting career right here, and I have my dad with me this morning, and my brother, and my grandpa isn't doing that well. He had to go to the hospital this morning. So my dad was only gonna be able to hunt with me this morning. I think we have a good pull down. And my grandpa and my uncles and my dad, those are, those are the guys that inspired the hunting on business to get started. Oh my gosh. This was meant to be right here. He, had a, he was the hurt bull, man. <clears throat> oh, he had 10 cows with him. I couldn't believe it when you, you said you stopped him. Oh my God. Because you, know, you could see him. And <sighs> then I thought, oh well, it's going to break loose. <laughs> well, those, those white tail about, about screwed us over, man. They came out and that cow came out and she was wondering what, what was going on. And I heard him bugle and so I walked, moved forward. And I heard the bugle and I looked up and he was dude, right over silhouetted just yeah. ripping it up, man. I, oh my gosh. Yeah, how, how did, first morning, we're, we're like 16, 18 minutes in the light. I mean, thir 13 years or something, half my life waiting for an 18 minute hunt. Yeah. I mean, what the, we, we, me and Matthew were right here last night. We shot that bull 20 yards from where we were scouting last night, where we were sitting. That's where we were sitting right there, dude. What the heck? Oh my gosh. That is unreal. He was the herd bull. <clears throat> Holy smokes. I wanted to get set up down, but I was like, I was so, I, I had a free hand. I was so afraid he was going to yep. run off. Yep. Oh my gosh. Dude. Oh my gosh. Look at, dude, they are so, such a huge animal. Oh. I mean, I didn't know what we'd get out here. And I didn't think I'd ever shoot a six by six out here either. Just unreal. Just unreal. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at this guy. Yeah, look at this thing. I know. Honestly, I was fully, if I would have saw a fight, you know, a smaller bull, I would have took him. I would have never guessed we had something this nice. I mean, we, oh, I'm at such a loss for words right now. This is unreal. We came up and scouted earlier this summer. We didn't see anything we scouted here. Days before the season, didn't see anything, didn't hear anything. Had a couple really good guys that helped me, just kind of point me in the right direction. Uh, my, my old basketball coach, JT Seely, and his brother Tanner know this unit pretty good, and they've taken a couple bulls, and they were both really helpful and just kind of where to go, but we still didn't see or hear anything. And this morning, we hiked in in the dark, and right away we heard a couple cows, and then this guy just started ripping it up. We actually busted him out of his bed. Uh, I don't know if they were bedded down or if they were mulling around, but they were you know, 40 yards in the dark, still 40 minutes before light. And we just, I blew on the cow call a couple times and we just sat down and waited the longest 40 minutes ever. And uh, they stayed bugling at like 100 yards from us. And then 10 minutes before light, 
you know, we heard him bugle 150, 200 yards away, and I was, that's where it got scary, you know, we're like working, so we're gonna work away into this thick timber that's just another half mile. And we waited till light to move, and we got in here, and he was bugling up on this ridge, just ripping it up. I got, got a shot on him, oh my gosh. Thank you, Lord. We prayed so, I, I was praying so hard this morning, Dad, when we were waiting in the dark. I, <laughs> I was just, I, I knew he was a good bull by the sound of him, too. He was chuckling and just some deep growls. Yeah. And I said that one cow call sounded so fake. Remember that, Dad, that one in there? I thought there was other hunters up in here. <sighs> yeah, it did sound funny. Didn't it, though? I mean, that was. But it shows you, you, you just never know. Yeah. Dude. That's two elk down in one week. Justin shot his last Thursday. I got mine Thursday here. Yeah, that is awesome. That is awesome. Amy has a cow tag here that we're gonna hunt this weekend. If we can get three cows down in eight days, nine days, that would be that would just be unreal. Three elk this year. Just we're pretty blessed, man. We got blessed with some tags this year. We've been putting in for. I can't say we're lucky getting this tag because. <laughs> We have half my life putting into it, but it was due time and you have to have a little bit of luck coming into it, but just a lot of hard work. And that was kind of the, the mindset we had this year was going into this season, it was kind of a make or break, you know, everything to lose mindset. And that's how we're approaching everything we do this year is that everything to lose. And instead of working at it in the sense of, hey, I have nothing to lose, you really do, you have everything to lose. And that's why you need to look at everything you do it be a more perfect morning out here. Three trips off the mountain, got all the meat packed in the mammoth coolers. It was a no stone left unturned hunt, man. We got it done, no half measures. We scouted, we applied for half of my life for this tag. I mean, my whole hunting career came down really to this big hunt. I've never had anticipation for a hunt like this before, and it was amazing. It was a family event. It was awesome. Let's get, let's get out of here.